Welcome guys to another Unreal Engine video. This video is going to be about showcasing this month's free assets for February. In case you don't know that, you can get free assets every single month for free. <laughs> if you go to Unreal Engine under the Epic Game Store, Marketplace, once it finishes loading, free. And then hover under free and go to free for the month. So, I couldn't do this one, because whenever I try to download it, like whenever I try to add it to my project, it just doesn't work. See, it just says that it failed to copy to the project, and then if I don't let it, it won't let me copy it. So, sorry, I couldn't show you that. So, the next thing is the procedural asset creator. This one was actually really laggy. And I don't exactly get how it works. I've already read the documentation on it. They're not helpful at all. It's like this giant thing about vertices and angling stuff. So I wouldn't recommend it. Unless you know how to use it from someone else. Or you watch like 5 hour long YouTube video. Just don't get it. And it takes like 5 gigabytes and took like an hour to download and compile all the shaders. So yeah, no, that's really bad. The next thing is the vehicle suspension thing. So if I go under here, where is the vehicle suspension? Easy vehicle suspension, L easy vehicle suspension. Okay, this is so satisfying. Like look, if I just hit play, F11 to full screen, it gives you a pre-done vehicle with suspension. But the best part is that, is that you can just adjust the suspension using control in your scroll wheel. I can put the suspension all the way. And yeah. That you can do. Pretty much that. Let's go. It's The suspension's really satisfying. And it's actually really easy to use. See, if I wanted to do no suspension, then I can't even go up here. But then if I raise my suspension, I can easily go over. Oh, this is like the best vehicle ever. Okay, to integrate it, all you have to do is go to your blueprints, FL Easy Suspension. You just copy this into your own project. And then you copy this into your own project and get the uh, location of your stuff and insert it there. There we go. So then the next thing is the Victorian house. This was really small, like it's modular, but it took forever to load. Like really, really long. Apparently this uses like 4K or 8K textures, which is instantly noticeable, even from a distance. If I go over here, yeah, it, you can see that it's really high quality. Um, some things that I don't like about it is that the grass isn't dynamic. If I simulate, I did, if I simulate it, the grass is still. So are the branches. So it's like everything else in the house. There's no dust, there's no nothing, which you can easily just put in from another pack, but the fact that this person put so much work into the lights at the front and making sure the interior was nice, didn't do that, is really sad. I mean, the bushes look weird too. Just look at that. Okay, uh, you gotta give him credit for this though. When you play the game, uh, I'm gonna full screen this, they added custom footsteps noises. You can't jump, sadly, which I don't get. But look, if I go over here, like you can actually turn on and off this stuff. Like the stuff's interactable. So if I were to keep walking, why is this so slow? This is, I can turn off this light. I can open the door. It even has custom sounds. That's also right, it's 4.1 surround sound audio. Look at those visual effects. This is really good, like look. 
Notice how it's focusing in on the door. And then if I look over here, it focuses on the outside and now it's blurry. If I focus here, this is automatic. Then it automatically focuses on the door. This is amazing. Like look, if I get close to an object, it focuses on it. And the background becomes blurry. You can open the windows. Uh, you definitely can't fit through them. Uh, the curtains, you can't move, which I don't like. Um, some other things are if you go down to the basement. There's light coming out of nowhere, which I don't really care about. You could easily use this in a horror game. But you're just coming down, and then something's there. Or something's not there, and then something's in the other room. So yeah, like, 10 out of 10. <laughs> not 10 out of 10, like, 7? I mean, it is really cool, but there's just some stuff that needs work. And for the work that he put into the actual house, you gotta give him credit for it. Okay, and now the last thing is really my favorite. Because this is amazing. The RPG FX starter pack. So if I go here, uh, RPG FX, maps, overview. Okay. So over here, I set the speed so I can go through everything faster. Here's targeting arcs, which you can use in video games. So when you're aiming, you can have that face a certain direction. See if I were to rotate that. So you could just have it facing a certain direction wherever your mouse cursor is aiming. Or if I go over here for like AOE attacks, for projectile attacks, and for selecting stuff. If I go over here, let me full screen this. Um, item pickups. This has a really cool animation. Look at that. It's really cool. And then if I go over here, there is level up. We need to wait for the load. Is this one of the ones that doesn't work? Okay, I don't think that one works. Uh, nothing ever happened. You didn't see that. Okay, here. Uh, over here, you can have it so that way, like, there's an NPC. We need to go talk to him. So then the light just appears over his head. Or something is confused or stunned. This looks really good. And then over here, there's magic effects, there's teleporting, and this weird portal thing, which really is very confusing. Look. Um. Okay, yeah, about that. So now the next thing, I'm gonna use a few of these in my game, which you should check out. It's called Elemental Battlefields. It's on the store pages on Steam, and it's coming to summer. So there's shields. There is spheres. This guy should shoot it, or not. Oh, uh, here's the burst for AOE. There's beams. There's heals, looks like an AOE attack, and there's healing over time, this is cool. Okay, now the next thing, AOE damage spells, lifting, impacts, stuns, and a throwing axe. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, Earth Slam, Warrior Shout. Blind, swipe, and yeah, you get it. This is just has lots of cool things. I would recommend this. I'm using it. 10 out of 10. Except for this confusing thing. So yeah, that's the end of this showcase. I would really, wouldn't, I would recommend all of these except for these two. These three are really cool. And if you have the need for these, yeah, use them. Go ahead. I want to see your creations down in the comments below. Just leave a comment. I'm making a video about every single comment that person puts on. So if you have a question, just ask it and I'll make a video about it and respond to your comment.
Okay. Yeah, bye.